This is the fourth and final book in the series by the Princeton Lectures and Analysis. It's the one that's really going into what's called further topics. Uh, definitely, I believe, a graduate level content book. One that will take me uh, many years to get to if I ever do. Uh, but I'm putting it out here just as a bookmark for myself and maybe for anybody else who's interested. So I'm going to start talking about the book and then I'll bring in uh, three other books that I think would have to be coupled with it, in my opinion, for myself, again, for myself, uh, in order for me able to understand the book. So this is going to take a while for me to get to. Um, yeah, so this is the stretch of the stretch uh, of the stretch uh, LP spaces in Banach spaces and Banach spaces harmonic analysis um, then generalized functions uh, the Berry category theorem which I've read about and worked on a little bit when I was doing analysis uh, a few months back uh, probability theory from the context of uh, somebody who would know about measure and integration uh, and then Brownian motion, and then a glimpse into several complex variables. I have made a video about a couple of books on several complex variables just because I became interested in the topic when I was uh, reading complex analysis. And then more Fourier analysis now with oscillatory integrals. And I've already shown some of the <coughs> Fourier analysis books that I have. Not that many, I need to have a few more back when I talked about the very first volume. So all these books have the same um, way they look. They're very well edited. Uh, they read a lot like uh, books that are based after lectures uh, and not uh, really worked out books for teaching a course uh, for people like myself where you'd have examples, answers in the back, none of that. Um, so, but still all four books uh, go pretty high, pretty deep. And I believe, in my opinion, for myself, I think they would be a good read, something that I would enjoy reading. Uh, but they're very summarized in some ways. And so, uh, I, again, this is the reason why for all four, I think there'll be either books that I read before or during uh, the reading of these books, if I ever, <clears throat> I ever get to them. So just paging through the parts about LP spaces. Of course, this, you'd have to do some complex analysis before you got here. Um, and of course, uh, volume three with measure theory and integration would have gotten you a lot of the basics before you got to this book. It's got a little bit different of a binding than the other three books. And I don't know if it's a typo that it says 1V. I think they meant the, the I for Roman, just a little curiosity about the publishing uh, aspect of the book. <clears throat> then when you get down to um, having to do with probability theory, this is where uh, I would have by then, I hope, to have taken a, or taught myself some basic probability and statistics and then uh, I hope someday to be able to read uh, Billingsley books, Billingsley's book, uh, because I think this book is uh, considered to be the classic for probability theory for people who understand measure theory. Yeah. So I'll just briefly show the table of contents for this book. I've had it for a while, but I've never made a video about it. Yeah, the Lebesgue measure, uh, random variables, Markov chains, <laughs> expected values, the central limit theorem, yeah, martingales, of which there's like whole books about, and stochastic processes and Brownian motion. So this book couples very well with the content in the fourth uh, Princeton Lectures in Analysis book. Uh, but I'm sh I would I would have actually worked through this book first just because That's the way that I personally like to do it. I personally like to read through a book that has lots of examples um, and Does this book have answers in the back? I, I don't I don't know. Let's find out. It's got an appendix notes on the problems 
So it's got notes on the problems, which I think I'm going to call answers on the in the back. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So you would have, I think I, I'll personalize it to myself, I would have read through this book before I started on this uh, book. And then, uh, but for the beginning of the book, I've, oh, I've wanted for a few years someday to read Yes book. Uh, maybe because I like big books. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but in Yes book, he's got um, a lot of LP space stuff. La Besque Integral. Yeah. How stuff measures. So I would have actually used this book also for volume three. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. I'm not I'm not gonna page too much through this uh, behemoth, but I would have I don't know if I I think I would have done this whole book by the time I get to this book, which means it's way, way in the future if ever for me. But uh but maybe somebody else is interested and can do it, and that's why I'm making the video. And then, of course, for several complex variables, uh, there are a few books out there. A topic that I find very interesting, but one that will take me a long time to get to because it'll take me through. I'll have to uh, do some gradual level complex analysis, for which I'm not showing any books in any of the four videos for uh, these princes and lectures, but I'm sure that I would have to do that before I did a book like this. Um, and I've made a book about several complex variables before uh, in this channel.